Jones R here. Our question for today is, did you know that Brett Keane publishes his own magazine? Oh yeah, he's a magazine publisher. Let me back up a little. Brett Keane recently waved some $20 bills in everyone's face and gloated about having made that money through his internet book sales. Therefore, this would be a good time to remind everyone of the way Brett Keane sells his books. It's called consumer fraud. More specifically, deceptive advertising through false endorsement. Those $20 bills, that's money he stole from people. Let me show you what I mean. Let's visit Amazon.com. This is the page for Brett Keane's book, Eternal Undying Love to the Second Coming. The editorial reviews for Brett's book contain these gems. Bruce White from The Best of Horror Magazine writes, I read the first one, Eternal Undying Love, and this sequel is just as great as the first. And Shelley Smith from Vampire Fans Magazine writes, Eternal Undying Love 2 captures it all, compelling horror and powerful wording. One slight problem here, these magazines don't exist. They're fictitious. Brett Keane made up the names, made up the magazines, and made up the endorsement in order to fool people into thinking his book had been endorsed by magazine editors. This is called deceptive advertising through false endorsement. It's a form of consumer fraud. It's not ethical, it's not legal, but it's the only way Brett Keane can sell his books because they suck so bad. An even more amusing fake magazine review is found on the Amazon page for Brett's book, Eternal on the Dying Love 3, Serpents in the Cradle. Look at this here. Oh yeah. This book gets a ringing endorsement from the editor of Serpent's Cradle magazine, a publication of Serpent'sCradle.com. Now, we know that Serpent'sCradle.com is uh, a defunct website that Brett set up. I think it was his seventh complete flop in a row at setting up his own website. Uh, but I picture Brett sitting, sitting at home and, and staring off into space and thinking to himself, Wow, just think of it. My own magazine. I could write all the articles myself. I could speak from the gut. Just say what I thought and no magazine editor would be telling me to go back to high school and learn English. I'd just say whatever I wanted. Plus, I could put pictures of, uh, of me in there. The whole magazine could just be about me. Brett Keane's own personal magazine. Man, this is a great idea. Of course, there's no such magazine as Serpent's Cradle magazine. You know that, and I know that, but the average person going to Amazon doesn't know it. It's another fraudulent endorsement. As are the rest of these. Horror.com and Pagans.com are real websites, but they never heard of Brett Keane. And I defy anyone to put DetectiveLovers.org into their web browser and see where it takes them. I give thanks to a YouTuber with the username Detective Lovers for giving me the tip on these endorsements, and a personal message to Brett Keane, since I know you're watching. It's not that we hate you, Brett. We just don't like being lied to all the time, you fucking asshole.